My name is Kai Hudala from Bosch Software Innovations. I work as a software developer there, I'm kind of an open source evangelist. I'm working on products for the IoT basically. So the main challenges for developers in the IoT, I guess, is getting your devices connected somehow, getting the data from the devices to where you want to process them. Then security is a big challenge, I guess, uh, making sure that uh, devices are authenticated, data is encrypted, privacy is a big concern. And of course, uh, performance, throughput, yeah, large amounts of data. So, yeah, there are many challenges and uh, you need to tackle them all in order to build a successful IoT solution. The yeah, Eclipse Holo is an open source project that we started to address several of the issues with connecting devices. So uh, the hetero addressing the heterogeneity of the devices, it provides a, a, unique, a, a uniform API for uh, solution developers to interact with the devices, to consume data from them and to yeah, control them basically. Eclipse Holo is an open source project, so everybody can simply go to the homepage at eclipse.org Holo, um, download the software, use the software, open issues, uh, report bugs, but most importantly you can also actively participate in the development of the code. So the project is hosted on GitHub, you can simply clone the repository and start working on the source code and contribute code if you want to. I'm Henry Bergius, I'm originally from Finland and these days I'm working on visual programming tools at Flowhub here in Berlin. It's a, it's a pretty nifty project. I only needed to integrate one protocol to have all these different devices from industrial power tools to those little XDK gadgets show up in, in our system, so that was definitely, definitely convenient. The big benefit is it's, it's open source, it exists, it's documented, and it can uh, run as a service. So those are all, all good things for uh, integrators like us. And this means like we only need to work with one project to be able to support the whole plethora of IoT gadgets out there.